let's reverse a little bit and say that um, Genevieve came in and said that I have a lot of pain, but I don't want to see a physical therapist, right? So you're still going to go through that same initial intake. And it's okay if they don't want to see a physical therapist and they have a lot of pain. You guys know a lot. You can work with somebody. You can get through a few sessions. And then if you still feel like it's important, then you can actually see, say, you know, I think it would be really helpful. Once you have that rapport and that trust, you could say, it might be really helpful if you wouldn't mind doing a session with one of our physical therapists to get, so we can get you out of this pain that you're in. So that, you know, you might just, I would not push anybody in any direction. They don't feel like they want to go. Right. Okay. So what I'll do is let me um, pull up my, I'm going to share screen again. Oops, sorry. Let me share. And I'll pull up those memberships so we can talk through each one. And I can give you a kind of typical client, some clients that you know, that would fit in each category. Um, do you think, can we say your PT oversees our team plan? Oh, okay. So yeah, great question. So Jen's asking, to what extent can we say that we're overseeing, the PTs overseeing the sessions and helping out? Um, you can say that you always have a PT on call that you can talk to to help you figure out if something doesn't feel right or see right. And I'm always available to you guys for that. And um, so I'm make, trying to make myself more and more available so that we can always, I can always be available to help you through a session or help you with a client. And like today I did Allegra session with her, with a client that's pretty difficult. So I spent the whole hour with them. I'm not even charging the client for that. And she's just paying Allegra, but just so that I can help Allegra. Right. So I'm really happy to help you guys uh, with those harder clients. It's a great learning time. And I feel like it, it helps the clients really feel connected and feel taken care of. I, I'm not going to do that every week with Allegra for the same person, but I'm happy to do that um, for you guys if you guys need it. Yeah. So tell them I'm available if, if that's the case. OK, so here's the membership list of membership and the new names that I think I'm kind of happy with. <laughs> I hope that you guys like them. So basically when they come in for that Pilates intake, you're gonna be looking at the Pilates membership track more than the PT membership track because unless, you, unless somebody comes in and you feel like they were really placed incorrectly into a Pilates track, I wouldn't even think about these guys for your, the clients that you're intaking. So if we look at staying strong, this is basically our monthly membership, like the group class monthly membership. And, but what we've included in all our group class monthly memberships is that one, once a month Pilates private. That Pilates private is intended so that we can really uh, help make sure that they're meeting their goals and make sure that they're moving forward, make sure that their form is right. And also so that we can make sure they have a good home program and update that for them. So this is just a tiny bit more than what people are paying now for the monthly fee. So this would be sort of our most basic thing. And, and I really feel like we need this monthly private because it, it will make such a difference. And everybody I've done that with, I did some free ones during the Zoom session with people who had been clients for a long time. And they were like, oh my gosh, I got so much out of this. I would have never thought that I should do this. And it was just a Zoom session, but it was it was so helpful. So I think, um, I'm really happy with having that in there. And then we're giving a complimentary massage just once. Uh, it's a one time and we're offering it in the first month of their membership. So they get a chance to try out working with Elizabeth. If it's something they want to continue doing, they can. If they don't, it's no, nothing. You know, We're doing that. And then Staying Strong Plus is a little bit more, meaning it's a once a week Pilates private with everything else from the Staying Strong program. So um, remember too that all of these, so all of our programs have a monthly membership. They all have access to our class library and they all have access to the Perfect Forms app, which is the home exercise program. So that is, so this would be, so staying strong would be somebody like Lynn Klein or Sue Hook right now, who's really doing really well on their own. They don't need a lot of guidance. They just need to maintain what they're doing, right? Staying strong plus, would be somebody who more, I would love to see Debbie Mixell in Staying Strong Plus, right? So it would be so nice to check in with her. She's got the osteoarthritis in both her knees. 
Um, she's got a lot going on with her body. It's not just her knees, um, her shoulders, her hips. She's, she's working so hard. If, if I could convince her that this was the path, I would have her come here into that staying strong plus and get once a week private. So that's sort of that person pretty, doing pretty well, wants to stay active, um, needs a little more guidance. Here, building strong, we're getting a little more um, intense, but that's going to twice a week Pilates private. With that includes a monthly massage. So just to help loosen up muscles and things. So this is kind of like, um, I was gonna say Dave Grubb, but maybe Dave Grubb should be down here somewhere. At least here would be more Dave Grubb. I'd really love to see him monthly for physical therapy, monthly massage and twice a week Pilates. That would be ideal for Dave Grubb down here, the rebuilding. Building strong could be somebody like, who do we have that's building strong that comes in twice a week? Like Kim's client, Tia, she does twice a week with Kim. A monthly massage would serve her really well to loosen things up. So that would be somebody like Tia, or I'm trying to think who else we have. Sandy Bertelson needs to come in twice a week individually. Um, she would really benefit from a monthly massage. So those are sort of the people that I would put in Building Strong. Dave Grubb, maybe more here. We could, that way we have that monthly PT check-in, which actually we almost do every month. Um, or So that would be somebody like him. And then if you feel like somebody is not fitting and they need a lot more, then, then maybe they would move to this twice a week Pilates private, a monthly massage and twice a month physical therapy check-ins. Like if you felt like they needed more physical therapy. But I think at this point, you could, you could let the PT decide if they needed to see them more often, and then we could bump them up to this, uh, this version up here. But I think for the most part, the people coming to you would be somewhere in this realm.